Good morning, one and all present here. I am Dr. Jayashree, doing second year DNP Radiology in Belroth Hospitals, Chennai. Today I am here to share my knowledge on an interesting case, dual drainage one conduit, charting the bi atrial passage. Moving on to the case report, a 65 year old female who was a known diabetic and hypertensive presented with complaints of bilateral leg swelling for one week. She also had dyspnea and exertion which had aggravated over the past one month and she had a long-standing history of orthopnea too. The patient was initially suspected to have deep venous thrombosis and a bilateral low volume venous Doppler was done but the venous Doppler however showed no evidence of deep venous thrombosis. Cellulitis of bilateral low volume is noted and in view of persistent dyspnea, a pulmonary thromboembolism was suspected and a pulmonary angiogram was done. Moving on to the CT pulmonary angiogram findings, axial images at the level of liver showing reflex of iodinated contrast into the hepatic veins via the inferior vena cava indicating right heart strain. And axial images showing cardiomegaly with predominant enlargement of the right side of chambers, the right atrium and the right ventricle. We can also note the right and left lower lobe pulmonary veins as depicted by the green arrows normally draining into the left atrium. Axial angiogram and 3D reformated images showing grossly dilated main pulmonary artery and right and left pulmonary arteries and their branches respectively. The main pulmonary artery measured around 4.7 cm. Axial angiogram images uh, again showing the right and left pulmonary arteries which measure to be around 3 cm and 2.8 cm respectively. Axial and sagittal angiogram images showing an anomalous vessel as depicted by the blue arrow coursing around the right pulmonary artery as depicted by the yellow arrow connecting between the right sided superior vena cava as depicted by the green arrow and the left atrium as depicted by the red arrow. Axial images at higher section showing the anomalous vascular channel joining the superior vena cava medially. Here the superior vena cava is depicted by the red arrow and the anomalous channel is depicted by the yellow arrow and we can also note that laterally the right upper lobe pulmonary veins are seen draining into the superior vena cava depicted by the green arrow. So diagnosis of partial anomalous pulmonary venous communication was made. Reformated and labeled virtual reconstruction images viewed from laterally showing the course of the vessel around the right pulmonary artery between the superior vena cava and the left atrium. We can also see the other pulmonary veins normally draining into the left atrium. Reformated subtracted virtual reconstruction images showing the abnormal vessel coursing between SVC and the left atrium and we can also posteriorly note that the upper lobe pulmonary veins are anomalously draining into the superior vena cava. Schematic representation showing the anomalous vascular channel as depicted by the red dot coursing between the SVC and the left atrium. The yellow arrows are showing that the other pulmonary veins are normally draining into the left atrium. The green arrow is showing that the right upper lobe pulmonary veins are anomalously draining into the superior vena cava. And incidentally, it uh, visualized upper sections of abdomen showed nodular contour of liver with heterogeneous pancamel density, suggesting cirrhosis. Correlating with our case, a diagnosis of a chronic hepatic condition leading to cardiac cirrhosis was made. Diagnosis and summarizing the imaging findings. The patient had an anomalous vascular channel connecting the right SVZ and the left atrium, the course of which morphologically correlated with that of the right upper lobe pulmonary vein. However, the right upper lobe pulmonary veins were seen anomalously draining into the superior vena cava and the interatrial septum was also found to be intact. And a diagnosis of bi atrial drainage of right superior vena cava with partial anomalous pulmonary venous return was made. The anomalous vascular channel between the superior vena cava and the left atrium has resulted in a left to right shunt 
leading to volume overload and significant pulmonary hypertension and this led to chronic hepatic congestion resulting in cardiac cirrhosis moving on to discussion by atrial or left atrial drainage of right superior vena cava is a rare form of interatrial communication caused by defect in the wall between the right superior vena cava and the right upper lobar pulmonary vein this type of defect is also described as by atrial drainage of the right svc or cavo pulmonary venous defect or veno venous bridge it is not a true atrial septal defect it is just an interatrial communication this entity is closely related to the more common svc type sinus venosus defect if the superior vena cava drains into both atria it may be either due to abnormal connection as was in our case or malposition of interatrial septum or superior sinus venosus atrial septal defects Uh, in this entity the pulmonary vein maintains its normal connection to the left atrium allowing a left to right shunt from the left atrium through the right upper lobar pulmonary vein into the right atrium in if the defect is associated with stenosis or atresia of right superior vena cava orifice to the right atrium uh, predominantly uh, the drainage will be into the left atrium leading to a right to left shunt leading in devastating events the cavo pulmonary venous defects are commonly associated with anomalous pulmonary venous return most common on the right side to the superior vena cava at the right atrium how to differentiate between the sinus venosus types sorry svc type sinus venosus defects and biatrial drainage of svc it is based on the location of shunting between the right upper lobar pulmonary vein and right superior vena cava if the defect is located close to the Uh, cavo atrial junction svc type sinus venosus defect diagnosis is made if the defect is located relatively superior to the cavo atrial junction by atrial drainage of svc can be made summarizing all the findings and the key points to take home are the key imaging features include the defect between the right svc and right upper or middle lobar pulmonary vein that is due to and roofing of right pulmonary vein or indicating a veno venous bridge the normal course and connection of the right pulmonary vein to the left atrium if in case if there is stenosis or atresia of the right svc orifice to the right atrium there will be predominant drainage into the left atrium here are my references thank you